Now, if you've been following the channel, you'll know that we're just about to head over to Europe on a road trip full of mountain adventures. And one of those adventures is actually me taking on the ETC at UTMB. It's a relatively new race at the UTMB week. Uh, it's 15 kilometers in distance with 1200 meters of elevation. I'm actually gonna be running the race in partnership with the running brand ASICS because they contacted the channel earlier in the year and asked if I'd like to take part and obviously I said yes please thank you very much and today I've received a mystery box so I know it's from the ASICS brand by the labeling but I have no idea what's inside so it really is a little bit exciting and it feels like Christmas has come early so let's get it opened up and see what ASICS goodies we've been sent. Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining us for another video. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Now if you have been enjoying the content on the channel and finding it helpful but you haven't yet subscribed then maybe today is the day. Super simple to do just by clicking on that little red box down there in the corner and it is completely free but it's definitely a big help to the channel. Uh, while you're there, don't forget to click on that bell icon as well because then you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting running content. But right, time to get the box open. Let's grab the uh, box cutter there. Let's cut this tape and see what we've got inside. So a bit of a video with a difference today. Haven't really done any unboxing videos on the channel. I always like to watch them on YouTube and always wanted to do one. So we've actually got to do one finally. So first up on the top of the box, I am seeing a hydration vest. Let's put the box down on the floor. It's better. So we've got an ASICS hydration vest here. Uh, two soft flasks up front uh, in this black and bright orange colorway. No label on it, so I'm not sure of the model. I didn't actually know ASICS did a hydration vest. Looks pretty well put together. We've got a main zip down the center of the back pocket, bungees on the back, and it looks like it's got a lot of accessible storage. So some nice big stuff pockets on the front there, a uh, nice bit of adjustment on the system on the front, and we've got two big stuff pockets on the side. So uh, all this kit that we've been sent is for us to sort of get some miles in, test it out before the race, because we're gonna be obviously running the race in ASICS kit. So the first item is a pretty cool looking ASICS hydration vest. And I've actually never run with one of their vests before. So it'd be really good to test that out. But let's put that down over there and see what other goodies we've got. Right. So there is a box of shoes. Let's see what they are. Okay, never running them before, but we'll get onto them a little bit later. Let's put them on the edge of the table. And we've got some apparel down the bottom of the box. So let's grab all that out and take a closer look. So first up, we've got a pair of ASICS uh, cushioned Fuji Trail socks there. So we're gonna be running in a pair of ASICS socks, like the sort of maroon, red and orange colorway. That's definitely to my liking. A pair of Fuji Trail shorts. So let's open these up. Get this bag open. Like I said, it does feel a little bit like Christmas, which is always exciting. So, yep, Fuji uh, Trail Short uh, Performance Black running shorts. Now, um, I think I've actually run in a pair of their Fuji shorts before. Uh, extremely lightweight, very breathable, that's for sure. I think they've got an internal liner. Yep, we've got an internal liner inside. Like I said, very, very soft fabric. And we have a sort of storage belt worked into the waistband. Uh, a really good sized zip pocket on the back with a bit of sort of yellow detailing. But yeah, it feels like a, a, a really nice fabric. And there's lots of small perforations uh, in the actual short fabric. So they should be super comfy and nice and breathable and good to have that extra bit of storage in the waistband. So that is the shorts. And then moving on, we have a Fuji Trail short sleeve top. We've got a bit of... Um, a bit of a color matching going on with the kit, which is always good. Always good to be color coordinated. So it's nice to see that ASICs have uh, got some good attention to detail going on. So let's get rid of all the paper, pop that in the box. So we have their, um, what was it called again? Their Fuji Trail short sleeve top. So we've got this uh, zipper top. So a three quarter length zip down the front 
Again, super breathable fabric by the looks of it. Really, uh, really lightweight, nice and soft to touch. Again, we've got that maroon, orange and black colorway crossing over to the top as well. So uh, if, uh, if the one thing's for sure, we're gonna look good in our color coordinated kit, that's for sure. And like they always say, you know, if you, if you look good, you feel good. So that's gotta help. So that is the Fuji Trail short sleeve top. And what's the name of the colorway? The colorway is Antique Red and Performance Black. So again, I'm not sure uh, whether we're gonna be actually rocking this specific kit on race day. This has been sent out for us to test. And then I heard that on the Monday before the race, we're actually gonna go along to ASIC's house in Chamonix and we're gonna pick up some new kit, I think. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if it's the same colorway on race day, but let's pop that there. So we've got shorts, we've got a short sleeve top and we've got the socks, like I said, all matching in color. And we've got a pair of ASICS trail shoes. Like I said, it's a trail shoe I haven't ever run in before. So it is their Fuji Speed 2 in bright orange and antique red. So again, matching all the kit, which is great in my book. Uh, anybody who's followed the channel knows I like bright kit and, and they know that I like to match as well. So let's pull these out. Let's have a look at these bad boys. So feels pretty lightweight, quite stripped back, but looks like we've got a nice cushion midsole we've got ff blast plus compound in there so should feel nice and soft and bouncy underfoot like i said the upper feels quite lightweight uh, it's got a, a gusseted no no gusseted tongue inside so quite a stripped back tongue not a great deal of pad in there but we'll see how that feels sorry the tongue is gusseted in the upper we got a sort of a traditional lace system and the laces actually look very similar to the laces you get on the Nike Vaporfly, so they should lock down nicely. Outsoles on ASICS trail shoes tend to perform really well, so we've got their ASICS grip. Uh, not sure of the lug depth, what I'll do is I'll pop some stats of the shoe uh, up on the screen so you can see what's going on when it comes to the weight, the heel offset, the lug depth, things like that, the important stuff. Uh, not sure whether there's a plate in there, it looks like there's a bit of a rock plate under the forefoot as well, but Looks like it's going to be a nice shoe to run in. Like I said, I have run in some uh, other trail shoes from the ASICS brand, but never the Fuji Speeds before. So if you have run in them, guys, get in the comments below. Let us know how they perform for you. It'd be really good to know and really helpful. So yeah, so we're going to be rocking the Fuji Speed 2s come race day at the ETC. With us obviously heading over to Europe any day now, as soon as we've got Adventure Bus 2.0 fully kitted out as a camper. We're probably gonna have a day after that just to prepare, get things packed up. And then we're gonna be hitting the road uh, over to France on the Euro Tunnel. And uh, our first stop is hopefully gonna be at Annecy in France in the mountains. We haven't stayed there before. It looks like a mega place. And that's gonna be the first chance we sort of get to get up and get out into the mountains. The plan is to test all of this ASICS kit once we're over there because the race we're going to be doing is in the mountains. Uh, the race actually starts in Cormier and finishes at Cormier, so quite different to a lot of the UTMB races that actually start in Chamonix. Uh, and like I said, it's a mountainous race. You literally go up one side of the mountain and down the other to the finish. So it'd be really good to test all the ASICS kit, the shoes, the shorts, the top, the socks, and obviously the hydration vest in the actual sort of environment and on the actual trails that we're gonna be running uh, the race on. So that's gonna be an awesome test. Uh, let me know guys, would you like to see a first impressions on the shoe? Because you know, I can always take the cameras along on that first run uh, and let you know how it's felt for me and how it's performed. So again, get in the comments below, let us know if you'd like to see a first impressions on the Fuji Speed 2. But we are obviously super excited about the trip. We got lots of things to organize over the next couple of days, having just got back from the stunning island of Jersey where we took on the Round the Rock race. Uh, I've actually just uploaded on the channel our travel vlog as we headed over from Cornwall to Jersey, so definitely go and check that out. And the big epic race day video is heading your way soon. It was super tricky conditions to film, the hardest conditions I've ever filmed in. 50 to 60 mile an hour gusting winds. We had rain probably for the first 
five hours of the race. Uh, I won't spoil it and tell you the ending, but we had a great weekend away. Massive shout out to Paul Burrows from Trail uh, Monkey Jersey for inviting us over to the race. Uh, definitely a race I'd recommend. Such a unique race getting to run all the way around the island. So just a really short video today, guys, because you know I got this box, I was all excited about it, and I wanted to sort of tell you guys what's going on when we're over in Chamonix with the ETC and the fact that we're running with ASICs. And I wanted you to see and open the box along with me real time, you know, because you're a massive part of this channel and I want to keep you involved in every aspect. So like I said, we're uh, going to go and start packing up. Uh, I'm actually heading over to, you know, John, who we uh, paced in the 100, ran the Ark with, and Martin, who actually crewed us in the Ark. We're going over tonight to try and get the new van sorted out. But I hope you've enjoyed this quick video, this quick unboxing video. I'm pretty sure it's the first unboxing video on the channel, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, get in the comments below about the Fuji Speed 2 from ASICS. Let us know your thoughts on the shoe. Uh, we're going to be back on the channel very soon with lots more exciting content, especially when we get out in the mountains. We've got some great videos planned. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. It is really appreciated. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. It only takes a few seconds just by clicking on that little red subscribe box down there in the corner. <laughs> Okay, first casualty. I've cut my finger on the scissors, but John's got plaster, so I'm sure it'll be all right. And it is completely free, but it is a real big help to the channel, that's for sure. Uh,